Hey 3D printers, Andrew Singh from 3D Central here, and today I'm going to show you how to 3D print and build the butterfly knife from CSGO. Let's do it. The handles and the pins were printed on an UP Mini using Hatchbox Black ABS. The pins are printed at a finer resolution, but a thicker infill to give them a little bit more rigidity. The blade was printed using Hatchbox Red ABS on a Cubicon single. Total print time for this project should be around two and a half hours. These are the only printed parts you need. These are the knife handles, these are the printed pins, and this is the knife blade. Now we're going to remove the handles from the perforated build platform of the UP Mini. I always wear a Kevlar glove when I'm doing this and I use the scraper tool that comes with the UP printers. Great. I print the handles with a raft and just a little bit of support, so they'll be nice and round once you pull everything off. Now that the support material has been removed, the back of the handle is really, really smooth, but now it's not really black. It's kind of this like off-white color. So we're going to use a small amount of acetone applied with a brush, and we're going to see if that makes it look a little bit nicer. And hopefully that's going to remove some of this white marking here on the side that was caused by the knife removing the support material and see if that makes it look more black like it does here on the side. So here we have a little bit of acetone in a jar and this is the brush we're going to use to sort of paint the acetone onto the part. So dip the brush into the jar of acetone and then just touch it to the paper towel and it'll wick away ex any excess acetone. And now just kind of lightly brush it onto the part and you'll immediately see the part turn a lot darker as the acetone is applied. Now general safety rules about acetone definitely apply here. This acetone can be kind of nasty stuff, so try to avoid directly touching it. It evaporates pretty quick, so almost immediately after touching the part, the parts dry almost immediately. But if you can avoid getting it on your skin, definitely don't touch the jar. And then move on to the next part. And this is something you want to do in like a well-ventilated room too. Don't do this if you're in like a one-bedroom apartment with a window that doesn't open and also it's 100 degrees. Maybe not the best idea. All right. And so here's the difference. This is a part that has not had the acetone treatment done to it. And you can see how it looks sort of white. And now here's a part that just got painted with acetone. And it's now completely black. And it has sort of a shiny finish. Great, now we're gonna do that to the other two uh, parts of the handle. And then we'll be done with the acetone painting. Assembling the butterfly knife is actually pretty straightforward. Grab the butterfly knife blade and look for the tang pin, which is the piece that sticks up sideways off the blade. Now, grab the two pieces of the handle that have a little indent in them, and those are the kind of the divot for the tang pin. And one of those pieces has a divot and it has a little notch sticking off the back. Now, that piece goes on the bottom, and that fits in like this. So, grab this and put a pin, one of the 3D printed pins, fit it in like this and now push it through the blade. Now grab the other part of the handle with the divot and position it so the divot fits over the tang pin. Grab another pin, push through and 
Repeat. Now that you see where the notch is on the top of the handle, find the matching piece and place it on the other side. And place a pin through both sides so that they snap together securely. Now you should only have one piece of the handle left. And that clips in. And take your last remaining pin and snap it through the bottom. And now your butterfly knife is fully assembled. All right, and there you have it. And that's how to 3D print and build uh, the CSGO butterfly knife. This is like one of my favorite kind of 3D printed projects because it doesn't require any extra additional components. You can just completely build it and then it's finished. Uh, once it's done, it's just done. The pins are completely printable. They don't require anything extra. We sometimes add a little bit of super glue to them just to make them a little bit stronger to shore them up sometimes, but you don't have to. I also have no idea how to actually use a butterfly knife. If you do, please upload a video, uh, print one out, and then upload a video of you using one, and like leave a comment in the comment section to tell me that you've like made a video and like show me how to use this thing because this is the only trick that I know. I don't think I can call that a trick. But there's a link to the file to download this in the description. So go to Thingiverse, go ahead and download it. It's a super fun print. It's really fast too. This blade takes about 20 or 30 minutes and these are like maybe an hour. So you can get it done really quick and it's a cool functional part and it's like really fun to play with. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching. <laughs>